All right. Well, I just heard, I heard this and I thought it was real, really funny. And uh, the Lord, and then the Lord spoke to me about a, a couple scriptures that kind of go with that for this morning. I'm like, okay, I'll talk about it. So this was, I was watching Victory News this week. Um, I can't remember if it was America Stands or Flashpoint. And they had a pastor on, and they were just talking about what we need to be doing in this time and things like that, and what our responsibility is as believers, um, what we need to be doing. And, and he brought up, so there's, there's a large portion of the church that's just sitting back and saying, well, you know, we're not supposed to be doing anything. We're just supposed to be going along with the tide or, you know, whatever, whatever. But, there are, you know, we're all saying different things. We're all saying different things. But I love the way he put it. He said, he said a lot of the church is waiting for Jesus to come back. And we all are, right? We're all, that's, the, the scripture says that's going to eventually happen. Um, but, the, and with those of us here, probably, most of you probably already know Jesus is in us, so he's already here. <laughs> so what the church is waiting on is a literal physical appearance of Jesus, um, as it explains in scriptures. But a lot of the church is waiting for Jesus to come back. But in their waiting, um, Jesus is waiting for the church to rise up and do what he's already instructed us to do. Because the scripture is very clear about what he's instructed us to do. And over time, um, I'll just speak over the last century. I won't go before that. But over the last century here in America, uh, we've it, a lot of the church has drawn back out of participating in a lot of sectors. And we see the secularism that has taken over as a result. And that was not the right thing for us to do. And uh, it, it's, it's taken a blow to our entire nation for, a lot, for even a remnant of the church to realize, wow, wait a minute, there's a problem here, and we need to do something about it. So I'm going to read a couple scriptures. 1 Timothy 2.4, I urge, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all the people for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people, so this is the part I want to emphasize, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. That means they're not all saved. They haven't all accepted him yet. And they don't have the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. This has now been witnessed to at the proper time. So the emphasis there being on he desires all people. To, it's not he desires that all people to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. We have a role in that. We have a role in that. In 2 Peter 3, 9, it says, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. So, so the heart of God is for everyone to come to repentance. Now, he knows that that's not going to happen. He knows not everybody is going to choose that. But that's his desire. And we have a very active role to play in that that we have not been playing. And, and when I say we, I'm speaking very broadly. I'm not saying you. Maybe you have been playing your role. But in Matthew 28, 19, he gives us very specific instructions about government. He tells us to go and disciple the nations. We are to go and train we are to bring the truth of the kingdom of heaven. We are to train people in the government of the kingdom of heaven. That's our role. And in Isaiah 9, 6, it clearly states that the government sits on his shoulders. And I've said this before. Who, who are his shoulders? The church. We are his shoulders. He is the head. Christ is the head of the church. And we are his body. The church is his body. There's many scriptures on that, and I can absolutely get those to you, but I'm not going to take time right now. Um, 
We are his shoulders. His government is supposed to be sitting on our shoulders, not the shoulders of anyone else. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. Not the shoulder of anyone else. <laughs> Praise God. So, so my heart and my prayer and what we're going to be um, supporting and, and encouraging you to do is to get involved. And we have many resources for training on how to do that. So don't be surprised if we talk to you offline and just trying to help get you plugged in here at, to the body, but also taking the body and plugging it into society because we are supposed to be influencing and impacting our society and our culture. 